Welcome guys, a young lady is back again. I'm back again like a flash. I'm used to that word, like a flash. But seriously, I'm back again. And this time around, I'm not going anywhere. It's been a very long time that I've made video for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so, so, so sorry. A lot of things you have to, you know, take care of, you know, trying to hustle and make money. This is Nigeria. If you're not hustling, then you're not making sense. So I'm sorry. So today, the reason why we are having this conversation is because I want to teach you something. Yes, I'm proud. I'm teaching you something. So what I want to teach you today is going to be um, an intro, a refill intro for like a um, real estate um, brand. So there was a time I was trying to make logo intro for real estate brand and I was on the internet, you know, looking for inspiration and I saw something very close to what we're going to make today. So I guess I was just like, yes, we should be able to make it inside Maya, which is why, like I said, we are having this conversation. So enough of this water water. I talk a lot. I hate it. That English, I don't even savvy. I not have English. Uh, I mean, I do not understand English. You, you understand what I'm saying? So let's get on to business. What is here is a house. So um, I downloaded it inside um, freetdd.com. So I'll share the link to this model with you in case you want to have it. So it's actually also came with texture. Of, of course, we don't need the texture in here. So if you want to use the texture, fine. But I do not need it. The texture so let's move on so the first thing i will do is rotate this guy and make it sit on the grid and then i can go to this place and see minus 90 and um i want to really scale it down the reason why i'm trying to scale it down is because um i'll use air and if the house is too big then the cloth will be too big then the cloth will require a lot of um magnitude um of air to actually be able to blow the clothes basically that is what we want to do so now i'll just say point one um i want to have point zero five <laughs> or point zero two i just want it to be inside that grid point zero two yeah that is it so i want this side to be the front so create a plane and actually scale it up a bit like so so i can go to impute and reduce um the subdivisions to one one that um having 10 10 is like a waste of um poly count so to say so i'm done with that and now i can say go to edge and um select that edge at the back and say command or control e that is to extrude it so i'll bring it up now i can select this edge shift right click and say bevel bevel reduce you can reduce the fraction and increase the um, segment i think i'm okay so the next thing now is to create um, the cloth which is a plane basically so i can scale it up now so i can raise this up like so raise it i can um, scale this to this side as well what we're going to be doing now is selecting this and um, but you have to take it to fx and go to enclot and say passive collider passive collider is something rigid something that is not moving around cannot be controlled by the air the gravity and anything it's just you know stays like that so um i'll select the house as well and go to enclot and say passive collider then i'll select the cloth itself go to enclot and say create enclot so let me play this and see do not worry yourself about this um this resolution the reason why i'm using the low resolution when i'm done with this i can actually increase it um, i'm just trying to save time and make my work flow smooth so i have my end cloth now so when it gets to this point this point i want it to be blown away by you know air so i need to select this Maybe go to the first frame and go to um, feed and solver and say air. So I can bring the air. Can bring the air um, out like this so that I can just have it here. So now if I play this, so it's not going anywhere, yeah? right? So I, I can go to attribute editor and say um, solver. That's a from four the magnet is rather so i can get, take it to 100 and let's see what happens you see this is exactly what i was uh, talking about now 
it's hardly um, controlled uh, by the air that's because it's too big for this um, this thing so uh, this guy here delete it and this man here I can scale it down then this guy here I'll have to scale it down as well so going to um, yeah point zero one let's just do that so this guy scale it down then I can bring it down to like so yeah if I could bring this down more because I don't want the whole thing to be all over so bring it down a little bit more something like that now I can select it again and say okay this air I have to delete it now um, select my airplane let me use um, this wireframe so that I can see what is going on so I'll go back to end cloth and say end cloth select it again let's see what happens first yeah I like that so I'll select that again and say air so I can bring it to this side so go back to this magnitude and increase it to 100 <coughs> now let's please yeah can see down like I said the other time I said it was because of the size the size of um, the cloth so it takes a lot and lots maybe I was I was supposed to maybe pop it up to I mean the magnitude to like um, 10,000 or 100,000 just because the cloth is too big so it requires a lot of uh, magnitude of air to actually be able to blow it away so now that we reduce the size it's um, just under the magnitude of the air is working and basically that is what we need so now um, I have to disable this so, um, or bring it to zero that is the magnitude of the air bring it to zero and um, so um, I want to do something uh, this thing has to like blow to this is my x axis so I need to select x axis here so that is what I want the magnitude I was using minus 100 that is why it's giving me this flow I took about to zero and I selected um, direction x direction and y direction so if I play it now it should just come down and relax so getting to maybe 85 now I can you know um, increase the magnitude so let me say from 84 uh, right click and say set key then um, go to the next frame um, which is 85 then I can go to 100 so when it gets to 100 the air will blow it if I come close to it I can select this and say F I'm sorry the reason why it's I'm, I'm working like this is because I'm not using my mouse I'm sorry um, in a place where you know I don't have access to mouse so now let's do that again yeah when it gets to 85 yeah then it opens it so now uh, now that I'm done I think I'm done so I can go to rendering here and say create then I can go to maybe the front and um, go to panel I'm still I'm selecting my camera so I'll go to perspective and say camera so I can say F so that I can see what I'm doing now I can press F again so I will have more focus on the house so I can go to this film gate so it's true I can actually go to this and render so this is black it's because there is no light so let me just use a simple light which is a dumb light I can change it anytime so this is what I have so let me I can zoom it out yeah so now if I play this let's see what happened all right uh, going back to so I can zoom it out so that we can see clearly select the edge and raise it up then go back to object mode and um, object mode I mean so I can peel it to the side okay, the reason why that thing is low is because this is on so I can stop it so I can walk smart. so um, so trying to select this see it's from this place I mean my camera select the camera and raise it up or bring it down yeah like so so uh, now I can play it gets to that place gets to that place and roll out something like that yeah uh, let me play this um, and see all right top. i'll take it to the back and play again i want it to land yeah something like that now if i play it here so now you can see this thing is not is not landing well and um the reason for that is this uh if i go to select the end cloth then go to end cloth shape and um i can go to collision and say 
uh, display um, solver collision thickness let's see you can see how thick this is that is why it's actually not touching the ground so what i can do actually for that is selecting that now i can reduce it to the thickness down to its last bit something like that now if i select this as well um, i can reduce it as well something like that to its last last bit so yeah it, now you can see it's actually touching so now that i'm done i can select this guy and go back up then i can select this and say or oh, if that is not going to work for me look for um, my plane and increase this to something something um actually something big something like that now you can see how it works so i'm still quite not okay with that um okay this um thickness again let's off it so that we can see what we have here so, so now we have more skews skewses here so i can go back to my plane and say maybe 100 100 so this will be very very slow but then yeah you can see that falls nice so to now cash it let me play back yeah okay i'm just gonna chill and let it get to 85 where it opens all right so past the moon 20 now i think to see what is going on now so let's play that all right yeah that is it so if i go back a bit to somewhere like that and check it from my render um image or my render perspective or my render camera or my render angle what am i saying what am i saying all right so um if i go to render let's see what we have i think i like i like what i see all right so uh now that i have it so i'll go to um n cache where is it n cache and say create new cache so i'll say um n object it's not fluid it's object so i'm going to select on this so let's say um i'm just going to do it inside desktop basically cache all right open and then yes evaluate everyone um one frame yeah so that is what we want let's create what is this didn't i do that yeah let's do that again so i didn't select the object before i thought i did so now it's it's going what am i saying sorry I'm not a very good singer i used to sing i have some tracks but in hindi all right as you can see this kind of um cloth is this is a very um thick cloth very very thick and um kind of um sleeky so that is why it falls and folds and all that so it's done it's done caching so i can scrub through and you know please nice like so you, oh, wow i love this i love this that is it so if i say go back and play nice that is how to go about it 100 percent like whatever that you want just ask me i'm there for you to serve you to, what what's what the yoruba people would say what is a masquerade using his money to do without dancing okay i'm wrong that's that's not it